This may have been a bad idea for a video. <laughs> Hey there. I think I have a pretty interesting day ahead of me. I'm really excited actually. I'm going to, for the first time, try whole body stretching. It's for fairly active people from what I can tell and they basically figure out what body parts, what muscle groups are tight and they stretch them. And apparently it's an eye-opening experience so I'm excited about that. I read this article on one of the sports websites uh, this morning about Deshaun Watson, the Houston Texans quarterback. Anyway, the point of this article was, basically, if you play fantasy football, he should be the number one quarterback that you take in your fantasy football draft. This comes after he suffered his second ACL injury. Now, this wasn't the second ACL injury on the same knee, this was his opposite knee, but still, a second ACL surgery. Here are some of my reasons why that might not be a good idea. First, he's a running, cutting quarterback. This is not a guy that just sits back in the pocket and just stands there and throws the ball. You know, a Tom Brady type. His game is really predicated on being able to get out and run. The defenders come at him, he get, takes off and run, completely changes what the defense does. And he's awesome at that. Will he be able to do that as well after a second ACL surgery? Plus, one of the other things we see as an orthopedic surgeon, I see this a lot. When somebody has an ACL surgery, they go through surgery, they go through rehab, they get back to play, they're hesitant for a while. They lack confidence. They may even have a fear of re-injury. A lot of times it isn't until that second season back until they're really 100% or they look the same as they did before they got hurt. So clearly you'd feel a lot more confident next season, not going into the 2018-19 season, but the season after that. Is it a gamble? Absolutely. In case you're wondering, yes, I do park all the way at the back of the parking lot when I work out. The way I see it, you're gonna be working out anyway. What's walking another 100 yards? You need the exercise. So what I'm gonna be doing today is what's called a deck of cards workout. They told me at the stretch place that I need to work out about 30 minutes before the workout. Today's a cardio day, but I hate traditional cardio, elliptical and treadmill and that kind of thing. So I'm gonna do a deck of cards workout. Works like this. And I use a computer app to do this. It picks four exercises based on the suit and then one exercise for the joker. It flips a card and you do the number of reps for that exercise that many times and then you know tens and face cards are worth 10 aces are worth 11. I looked at the exercises already uh, for this workout it's decline push-ups it's pull-ups kettlebell swings and box jumps and then the jokers are medicine ball slams so should be a pretty tough workout hopefully get done in about 20 22 minutes something like that. All right, I got it through. Did it without a long break. A couple long pauses on the exercises, but overall, did pretty well. Cheated a couple times on the pull-ups. Not because my back and shoulders were sore, but I was so winded from the, from the medicine ball slams and from the box jumps, but I got through it. Maybe the whole body stretch will do me a lot of good now. <sighs> Some of the positives of Deshaun Watson coming off that injury. Like I said, it's his second ACL injury, but it's his opposite knee. This may sound crazy, but one of the challenges after ACL surgery is making the surgically reconstructed knee feel like the normal knee. In this case, you're almost making them feel equal. Now he'll have surgery on both sides, so that may not be as much of an issue. Plus, all those issues we talked about after a first ACL surgery, the confidence, the hesitancy, the fear of re-injury, 
he's been through this before. That experience of having the injury, that experience of the rehab and stepping back onto the field, he'll know that, so he might actually breeze right through that. So I think that is potentially really, really good. Plus, reports right now are suggesting that in training camp, he's already running at full speed without a brace. So, I mean, if you push that out two more months from now, which is sort of mid or early preseason, he should be fine. So is Deshaun Watson a risk with your fantasy football quarterback pick, especially if it's the first one? Yes, but I think it's a pick. If you see his upside, I think it's well worth that risk. saying around here that goes it'll feel better when it stops hurting so just keep exactly that in mind right. <laughs> it'll definitely tighten the hamstring so what i'm gonna have you do is just bend your knee for me push your heel down into my knee and relax there we go. Go change Is it supposed to feel like it's tearing? <laughs> oh. So now we're going to keep the leg straight. We're going to push the heel down into my hand again. About 20% effort. Okay. okay. Just enough to try. This all of a sudden went from being fun to maybe not so fun. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. The, the thing is, I know I need it. Yikes. Survived hamstring. Now we're going to last in the obliques. Great little QL stretch also. That's what we're going to be our lateral hamstring. So we're probably going to talk to you a little bit here too. Uh oh. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. It feels so good when he's relaxing. <laughs> oh. You, you know it's coming. <laughs> now it's not even funny, man. Let's just get through this. Yes. This is like the human pretzel. I think this side's easier, not because I'm looser on this side, but because I'm just now used just to Just now feeling. used to and know what to expect. All right. I'm not convinced the body's supposed to move this way. Ross will probably differ with me, but at we'll least make, mine's, we'll make not, mine's not meant to move this way. Make a believer out of you. The good thing about this is that you can push so much harder than I could ever do myself. Absolutely. I could never put myself in this yeah. position and make it stretch this much. Absolutely. Okay, I'm just going to warm it up a little bit. It's deceptive. That's the warm up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, I don't need your negativity. Our next visit, we might be able to touch our rear end. I wouldn't get your hopes up. <laughs> Awesome, so I'm going to have you Which holding way? on to the top of the table for me. Yep, I'm going to stretch it up nice and long. Yeah. Wow, why is it 30 minutes of this? Yeah, right? <laughs> 
Then we're just gonna hug the knees into the chest. Okay. Nice deep breath in. Exhale. Just final flexion. Hold on to the top of the table one more time. Nice deep breath in. And exhale. All right, my friend, you survived. Awesome. Ross, you're the best. Me, not so much. <laughs> that was awesome. It was brutal, not gonna lie about that. Painful, no question, but I can already feel better. I just gotta do this more often with them on my own. Definitely, if you have a place like that, definitely try a place like that out. Just find out what your body's like. Trust me, it is, as you saw in there, it is eye-opening. All right, that wraps it up. You saw me get tortured or stretched in whole body stretching. I think I'm in the upper levels of being in shape, but boy, I was not ready for that. I'd love your thoughts on that. If you have thoughts on Deshaun Watson's knee injury, would you draft him? Would you not draft him based on his knee injury history? I'd love to hear that as well. And if you have suggestions for challenges that I can take, new sports, new exercise, sports treatments, I've got a lot of cool ones coming. I think they're gonna be a lot of fun. Leave your comments for any of that in the comment section below this video. Make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna to try to do at least one of these fun sports, sports medicine videos every single week. Okay, thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you right here sometime soon. Take care.